Welcome back, early risers, and thanks for joining us. Dare I say, it is another hot coffee kind of morning today with those temperatures in the 60s across the board. Not as cool as yesterday morning, thanks to our winds, but overall still a nice, cool, mild start to our day. 67 degrees in Fort Myers right now, 67 in Englewood, 65 in LaBelle, 65 in Ave Maria. If you slept in yesterday morning, we did wake up to temperatures in the 50s in some spots. You see today, we're not seeing any 50s on this map, but it is still feeling nice with those temperatures in the 60s. And overall, a nice day is on tap for us here in southwest Florida. Very seasonal, those temperatures yet again topping out in the low 80s. 83 for Fort Myers, 82 for Naples, 80 for LaBelle and Lake Placid. 82 for Arcadia. So sun and clouds throughout the day. We'll notice a little bit more clouds than we saw yesterday. Yesterday we had those beautiful blue skies. A little bit of a chill in the air. I know by the afternoon, of course, it warmed right on up. But winds out of the east around nor east northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour and overall staying dry yet again. Wink Live Doppler 3X radar. We are not tracking any rain this morning. Not expecting to either. I know Liz mentioned earlier, maybe a good morning to open up those sliding glass doors. Let that cooler air in while we have it, of course, because we know how quickly we warm up here in southwest Florida. Future track shows we have that east northeasterly flow as we go throughout the afternoon. Just some passing clouds overall. A very nice afternoon if you have any outdoor plans. Of course, we have that Fort Myers boat show still going on today and plenty other events, of course, across southwest Florida. A look inside our forecast as we go throughout the next couple days, we are going to start to see a pattern change in our weather. High pressure is in control of our forecast right now. That's why we're staying nice and dry. That's why we're seeing lots of sunshine. But over here is a cold front that will be ushering its way towards us in quite a strong cold front. This right here is moisture from what will be the remnants of Tropical Storm Sarah that will usher its way towards us. So between that frontal system and between those remnants of Sarah, we'll have a good amount of rainfall come Wednesday. So Wednesday is our day where we can expect to see some of that rain. Once that cold front passes to the south, it'll take those showers with it. Drier, less humid air in time for Thursday and Friday. And Look at these dew points you see today, tomorrow and into Tuesday. Pleasant dew points. It doesn't feel all that bad stepping outside the door. Wednesday, we're back in the humid category. We have those tropical rains working their way through our area. That cold front ushers through and then look at our dew points by the end of the week. We'll be seeing much drier air with those dew points in the 40s. So as far as your 7 to 10 day forecast goes, 83 for today, sun and clouds. That rain comes on Wednesday and then look at our highs by the end of the week. Talking about the low to mid 70s for those highs. Thank you, Lauren. I'm looking for Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Meteorologist Lauren Kreidler here with you and we're taking a live look over that Fort Myers Riverfront camera. Look at all these boats over here for that Fort Myers boat show that's going on this weekend. Overall, great weather for that. Great weather for anything you have planned across Southwest Florida as we're seeing blue skies overhead and those temperatures gradually warming up. We're a little bit warmer than we were at this point yesterday morning, but still those temperatures in the 70s aside from our friends in Ave Maria showing off there 80 degrees already. 76 in Fort Myers, 70 in Port Charlotte, Babcock Ranch reaching temperatures of 75 degrees in Marco Island. Not far behind Ave Maria, 79 degrees there right now. Looking ahead this afternoon, our temperatures are going to top out in the low 80s today. 83 for Fort Myers, 82 for Ave Maria, 82 for Port Charlotte, and 82 on Sanibel Island. Right where we should be this time of year, quite a seasonal day with sun and clouds overhead. Little bit more cloud cover than we saw yesterday, but overall lots of sunshine for your Sunday and those winds out of the east northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Looking at Wink Live Doppler 3X radar, you see we are not tracking any rain this morning, not expecting to either. So if you're headed out to church, if you're headed out to your brunch plans, overall a very nice start to the day and that will stick with us into the afternoon hours. Sun and clouds overhead and then even as we go through this evening, just some passing clouds and those temperatures in the 70s. That weather pattern, though, going to change. We have that high pressure in control right now. That's what's keeping us nice, dry, and even warmer. But then by midweek, we're going to be tracking this right here. That is a strong cold front that will be ushering its way towards us and pushing this, which is a good amount of tropical moisture in association with the remnants of tropical storm. Sarah, that will eventually work its way towards us here in southwest Florida by Wednesday. And you can see a good amount of rainfall ahead of that cold front. That will push its way south after Wednesday, drier, less humid, and even slightly cooler air. And really, I mean, temperatures in the 50s when we wake up on Thursday morning. Dew points showing that over the next couple of days, it'll feel comfortable, but you'll see those dew points climbing. That tropical moisture in the air will allow our dew points to climb. 
by Wednesday. Then we have that cold front work its way through and then very pleasant dew points for the rest of the week. And of course, the lower the dew point, the more comfortable it feels outside. So we like those lower dew points. As far as your seven to 10 day forecast though, putting this all together, 83 degrees for today, 85 for tomorrow. Chance for rain comes on Wednesday with those rain and storms associated with that frontal system. Then look at our high temperatures by the end of the week, a chilly for Southwest Florida standards, mid 70s for those highs. Thank you all.